Hey Andy, this is Matt at Perkins Motorplex. I'm back here by the uh, F350 single rear wheel SDX that we've been looking at together. It is a 2019 model and we actually traded for it here at our Mayfield location. Uh, you do have two key fobs that actually come with this one. Uh, just the unlock and lock, no remote start or anything like that on this one. And it is a turnkey. There it is, sorry it took me so long to show that to you. Uh, but I'm just gonna walk around and show you any imperfections on any blemishes that I would want to know as a purchaser of this truck. Looking here on the uh, front of the truck, looking for any indentions, any fading, anything like that in the paint. There's really not a whole lot to point out to you. Here along the front, chrome looks to be in great shape there's no flaking or anything like that the only thing that you'll probably notice if i get in here really close is a couple touch-up spots from rock chips uh, just from driving down the road i saw one more maybe possibly right around there um, just on the chrome that you'll see but no cracking the headlights everything looks to be in phenomenal shape there and then i'll come around zoom out a little bit for you Tires look to be in good shape. They're not brand new, um, but you won't have to worry about new tires. Let's see if you can get in there and see the tread life left on those. Um, but underneath, it looks really clean. No signs of any surface rust along the frame or anything like that. And then looking here on the door panels, I'm not seeing any indentions, no fading around these rubber seals, anything like that. So overall, the exterior looks pretty, pretty good shape. Bedside here as well looks good. And a look at the back tires. And look underneath the wheel well again, really clean looking truck. And then just looking at glancing, now this is one of the things that you asked about. It does appear to be a two inch hitch receiver, just eyeballing it. Um, I'd have to look at a dually to compare, uh, but it does have the gooseneck bolt in there, as well as the puck system for a fifth wheel if you ever added that in there. And here are your trailer hookups there as well. But I'm not seeing any signs of any dents or wear and tear here on the back bumpers or the back lift gate. Do maybe see one spot there on the top of the lift gate, but that's to be expected on any truck, half ton, full ton, or even F350 uh, or three quarter ton. So looking here, on the passenger side, everything looks to be in just as good a shape as the driver's side. There's no major scratches or anything like that along the panels. And then coming in here to the passenger side, let you see the condition of the seats, fabrics, everything looks to be in great shape. No floor mats here in the back. We'll check to see if we've got any up front here. Uh, but the seats look to be in good shape, back of the seats too. Yeah, no floor mats up front either. Um, dash and everything looked to be in great shape. And then of course, your auxiliary buttons are right up here as well. So you do have that as well as the sliding back glass spot there. I'm gonna come around to the driver's seat, start it up for you, let you see the mileage and any of the technology that you might have questions on. Bigger trucks like this, of course, are notorious for the driver's seat to have some wear. You can see that there is some wear, but there's no tears or ripping in the seats and the fabric. There's your exact miles, 96,737. Cranks up nice and looks good. Come over here to your audio, of course, all of your audio there, as well as your phone settings. Um, and then down here, you do have your climate controls, four wheel drive, trailer brakes, all of that good stuff. So, uh, let me know what you think of it. Cosmetically, I think it's in really good shape, it's been well taken care of. Um, with the mileage the way it is, there's no more factory um, comprehensive coverage and not much powertrain if this one still qualifies for that 100,000 mile coverage Ford offered when it was brand new. Um, but let me know if you have any questions. We do have options that will pick that up. Um, but if you have any questions specifically to the truck, certainly let me know. I will send you the link um, uh, to the numbers as well, and we'll go from there.